Konnichiwa and Oro de Pues. Welcome to Southern California. Behind me, the 2015 Buick Regal GS all-wheel drive. Nathan Adlin here, and I'm going to tell you all about the new features with the Buick Regal GS 2015 model coming up next. GM has come a long way in making cars that are actually pretty damn rewarding to drive. Obviously this is based on a European vehicle and we all know that Europeans know how to corner. They know how to make a car feel right and do the setup correctly in order to really throw it around the corner, especially vehicles that are front wheel drive biased like the Buick Regal is. I love this Ecotec engine. It's a two liter. It puts out 205 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission and all four wheels via all-wheel drive. Now, you can get a front-wheel drive version of this car with this engine and a six-speed manual transmission, and I highly recommend it. It's a kick. The GS is the performance version, as you all know, and we've driven a lot of these, and we've driven the all-wheel drive version on snow and real serious ice. So. The big difference is being on a road in Southern California, going through the Malibu Hills, flinging it around corners, and really getting a feel for what it can do, changes your perspective. Fortunately, it's not in a negative way. This is actually a pretty efficient unit. You can get 19 miles per gallon city and 27 miles per gallon highway, and that's pretty damn impressive. I've been averaging about 24 miles per gallon, and I've been driving in the Mulholland Hills, slowly of course, and on some highways and a lot of city streets, so it's actually averaging better than I anticipated. The Buick Regal GS all-wheel drive is one of the best handling cars in its class. It's just that simple. I really, really wish that the manual transmission was available with all-wheel drive. It's not, but the front-wheel drive version of this car is spectacular with the six-speed manual transmission. It's just a hoot. Throw it around corners. The Hyperstrut front end Basically, they changed the geometry of the front struts in order to provide better handling, better grip, and better overall feel, and it does exactly that. Now, the Buick Regal GS and the regular Regal have recently gone through a refreshing on the outside, front and rear for the most part, and even these absolutely amazing, and I'm thrilled to even be near wheels, which are 19 inch, are basically the same. The real changes are on the inside, but with that being said, I want to say something very quickly about the way this is designed. I know it's based on an Opel from Germany. I know that. And you know what? The Germans have proven that they can make something as ho-hum as a family car and make something beautiful out of it. Really well done. There are a couple of minor interior changes, but nothing that is particularly notable. However, the seats are still very comfortable in the front, a little tight in the back, especially if I try to sit behind myself and I'm around 6'1". So it's not exactly a roomy, roomy, roomy car. It's a very comfortable car for the front passenger and for the driver. Now, the real changes, as I've been alluding to, are inside, and I'm looking forward to showing you what's new. Now, I've been promising you guys something nifty from the inside of the 2015 Buick Regal and this is what it is. Check this out. 4G LTE connectivity. It's a command Start button. Ready. Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi settings. Please see the owner's manual for information about your Wi-Fi hotspot settings. That's right. Now, right here it has all the information you're going to need to take your phone, go to settings, and I'm going to do that right now. And I'm really slow at this, so imagine how good you guys would be at this. 
go to Wi-Fi, you'll find it, you click on it, which I've already done, you put in the code and connect it, and you can hook up to seven devices to this system. So let's recap. All-wheel drive, 4G LTE connectivity inside the car for up to seven devices. An excellent suspension, Brembo brakes. It's a hell of a good car. I mean, damn! They really managed to go and build something that's spectacular. And the refresh and the updates for 2015 are, I wouldn't say substantial, but they're notable. On the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I'd give it a buy it, absolutely. I mean, it's a fun Buick. Who would have thunk? For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan Adlin. I'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real-world reviews. Bye-bye. Now, if you're not able to do this, you hit the help button. Help. This screen shows the information needed to wirelessly connect your device to the internet using your Wi-Fi hotspot. For help, press the blue on start okay, button we get to it. speak with Th an advisor. Thank you. Bye. Or cancel. There we go. To the main menu. There it is. On star ready. What she said. And it really works. Pardon? <laughs> She's still talking to me. Cancel. Please leave me alone. There is currently no active route. Returning to the main menu. This isn't her ready. fault. Exit. There Goodbye. we go. Goodbye. Anyway, so the system, when you hook it up and actually get it working, and it does it right away, I haven't lost the signal yet, and I've been driving through the Mulholland Hills, through Malibu Mountains, through Canaan Dune, and I never lost connectivity. So it's there all the time, and it works really well.